Hi everyone, uh, you all welcome to this uh, online session. This is Sunil here and we'll be talking about uh, how to use Eclipse. I mean, uh, let's say you have just installed Eclipse. What you do is you download the Eclipse from here. Uh, you go to internet and you copy this. I mean, this uh, Eclipse Java EE ID for web developers. It's free for everyone, so you can go and download it. And once you download that, just install and say next, 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 and all that. There's no special step for this. And once that is done, what you do is uh, you will have the resource kit with you that I've already shared with you guys. So the resource kit, I will show you how to import a project from the resource kit. So let's say. I, this is my resource kit and I have a lot of sample codes. For example, uh, today we'll be talking about BDD user exit. That's the IDD, Informatica Data Directory user exits. So let's try to understand how we can import this sample set of codes so that we can, um, uh, it's always good, you know, right? When you have a lot of sample codes so so that you can build your application on the top of that, uh, you, you know, like, Building anything from the scratch is always a pain. So let's try to understand. Let's get going. So first thing that you need to do is first go and say new Java project. That's it, right? And you name it anything like uh, BDD or I will name it IDD, Informatica Data Director, user uh, exits. Just name it anything. And uh, this let it be default 1.7. Okay. Uh, always make sure that this is the latest of the compatible version. So I have just created a, a simple uh, project. Now what I'll do is I would have to import, right click and go and click import and click file system, right? File system and say next. Now what you have to do is you just copy this particular link where your resource kit is residing, uh, paste it, tab. Now select all of it, okay? So select all of it and just say finish. So we're pretty much done but still you can see that I don't see my uh, see the codes in this uh, SRC so I need to do something first thing that I need to do is go to properties here go to Java build path then uh, what I need to do is remove this default thing uh, remove and add a folder and then you go to sources and click on Java okay uh, make sure that you click on Java not that uh, com or not the source uh, because uh, if you do that then the package uh, will be created with a different name and that will uh, what do you say that will invalidate most of your code so this is Java and say ok and this is pretty much done and you can see that here I go I have all my code here and if I go here com cyperian bdd user exits dot sample com bdd uh, cyperian bdd user exits dot sample so i have imported that correctly there's no doubt about that but uh, i do see that there are a lot of compile problems compile uh, errors so to correct that i need to add the libraries so right click and the properties go to java build path go to libraries and you don't need to add any external jar just click on jars and IDD user exit. So what I'm trying to do is uh, simply I have my libraries here, lib. So I'm going to add that. That's it. So just choose these four libraries. Okay. Okay. Now your code should be valid. As you can see, it is valid now. Okay. And uh, if you want to, yeah. So that's the basic procedure on how to do it. And then if you want to create a new class, you can always go and say a new class. So like a new. Uh, class and uh, when you're adding it so you can give any name here right so BDD uh, you can choose HM entity or you could choose if you want to create a uh, user exit then you can uh, create accordingly so you have a lot of stuff here so accordingly you can create all that and um, similarly this is how you can develop and you can take the things from here right and yeah and uh, I think I already you already know how to export a particular code from uh, the Eclipse so just right click and uh, export and jar next and uh, let's see if you want to export it as uh, IDD or BDD uh, there might be some compile errors but that's fine not a problem right so with warnings that's not a problem so it is done if I check in my desktop uh, that's pretty much done right so this is the BDD file now you have to go to your um, uh, BDD config and you need to import that user exit right but today's topic is not about user exit uh, it's just about how do you import a Java sample or how to create 
something for example if you want to create also I'll also tell you how to create you can simply go here new Java project the same logic so instead of importing what you need to do is you just need to go here and say new Java class uh, so create the Java class as well as add the libraries and this time you have to add the external libraries for example properties and add external jars and uh, this is where my jars are stored so I'm gonna add that right and uh, I think that's it for this uh, short demonstration about uh, <coughs> Informatica MDM's uh, cleanse uh, uh, I'm sorry Informatica MDM's uh, feature on how to import the libraries and uh, anything related to the Java part right so thanks guys thank you very much I hope you liked it uh, check out the other videos thanks